Welcome back in everybody. This is Jason Seacrest. We are going to finish up our beginner cat tutorial. We are also going to be adding on some half tones and we are going to do some little gradients and all sorts of little things where we can start to add on a little bit more to our cat. So first thing that we just ended with is we did our live paint bucket. So if I have my nice black arrow, you're going to notice that everything is still selecting. So my recommendation is to ungroup, ungroup. Usually the magic number is three. I do not know why. Notice after each one I'm deselecting. Then I just have that. Good. So on my magic wand, I'm going to double click. I'm going to drop the tolerance down to five. And then basically I'm just going to unite any like colors. Just in case there was anything weird happening with the live paint. Good. So sometimes there's little gaps within the live paint. So we just want to make sure that that is all seen as one big shape. So that's why we do that. Okay. Let's have some fun. We are going to have to ungroup what we just did, unfortunately. All right. So what I want is this could be a pretty good little flat color. I'm going to grab all of my dark purples. I'm going to go Control C, New Layer, and I'm just pasting in front. So I just have my lines at this point. So I'm going to lock that guy out and I'm going to go back to my flat color. And that's just so we have, we always maintain some nice clean edges. So what we're looking to do is basically add on some halftone and they're going to be almost like a tapered halftone and then we're going to add on a gradient to it. So this is where we're going to go nice and slow so you can see it. I'm going to grab the face first and let's just do the long hand version so you can see every little step. I'm copying it. I am pasting in front. So just, I'm coloring it so you can see that we have two. I have two shapes right now. Good. Now it's gonna go through some weird looking phases. For, it's, gonna, it's gonna look funky. Ready, I am gonna go window and I am looking for my gradient tool. I'm gonna select it. This is where it looks funky for a second. I'm gonna drop down and I think negative 90 is where we want it. Now our goal here is to have our half tone at the bottom and then it's basically gonna fade itself up. So whenever it is white, really nothing shows when it is white. At the same point, I don't want it to be that dark. So I'm looking for any one of these grays and then we can always come back and modify. So right now, let's just say that looks okay. Now we're gonna add on a cool little effect. So I'm gonna drop down to pixelate and you're gonna notice it says color halftone. And what I am looking for is each channel 128. 128, 128. All right, right now I have eight and I just wanna see, and what that's gonna do is it's going to, that's how big the circles are gonna be. So let's just test out eight right now. So I might say I want a chunkier, so I can drop back down. Let's try 15. It's going to be too fat, watch. Uh, I'm oh, I think I'm okay with that. Now, just so you're aware, since we have not expanded, I can come through and it's basically a live working filter. So I can say, hey, where do I want this? And I can control the circles if I want to control how far over those circles go. I can basically control that as well. As well. So notice that I'm modifying the gradient, and it's still controlling where that is going. All right, I say that looks pretty good. Just seeing which one we had. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So right now you're going to notice that it is black with white. What we are looking to do is we're just going to click a bunch of buttons and make our life super easy. The computer is going to do all the work for us. We're going to expand. Now right now, whenever we do the effects, notice that we have these Photoshop effects. Basically, it is a big giant picture right now. So that is not what we want. So what we are looking to do is go image trace. Still gonna look funky for a second. I'm gonna come over to my image trace panel and then I do wanna see my advanced. And then I'm dropping down and you're gonna see all of these little things. So number one, I want to ignore white. So they're get rid of the white. I also want to get rid of snap curves aligned since everything is a circle. That is not what I want. Other little thing is you're going to notice that there's this noise. 
I just want to drop that down. We're going to get back some of those little ones. So you're going to notice that these little tiny ingredients were kind of seen as noise. For the most part, I say that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go Object Expand. Hit OK. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So right now, you're going to notice that we have our black. Some of you might just say, hey, I want to color that and then call it a day. So what I want to do is basically add a gradient onto what we just did. All right, so this is where we're going to get pretty fancy. I'm going to just come up. I'm going to go to Object. I'm going to come down, Compound Path, and then Make. So what I want it to basically read as is every single one of these little dots, I, want, I don't want them to read as an individual unit. I want it to just read as one big hole. So I'm going to say Make. I'm going to come over to our gradient that keeps disappearing. Shame, shame, shame. I will shove you over here. And so what we're looking to do is I want it to go gradients. I'm going to select it. Let's go back to our negative 90. And this is where I'm going to go back to our, our face color. So I want dark. I'm going to select this guy. I'm just double clicking, by the way. And I'm selecting our face shape. And now we have a nice fading out little gradient. Pretty boss. I like it. All right, let's do a similar one on the ears. Control C, Control F. I just did the shortcut. Notice that we have two, by the way. So our base color is still there. Let's do it again so you guys can get used to this process. Now let's just say, I think I want negative 90. Let's just stay, stay with that. Effect. Now this one should be the same, by the way. So if I go color halftone, that is what we just finished with. I'm gonna hit okay. Good. I'm gonna go object expand image trace i'm going to come back to my image panel i'll just leave that up it's pretty much the default by the way these two so you're just going to have to click those off i'm just going to go object expand that's okay let's finish with this guy ignore whites i don't want snap to curves and then i'm just dropping down and then i can click trace we are done with that panel i'm going to go object expand Boom. So as long as, and really, just as you guys keep moving onto the steps, as long as these are all highlighting up, you should be pretty good to go. Now, I do want these just to be the same thing. Let's go compound path, make. That was our light pink. This was our dark. And let's drop back down to negative 90. Boom. I like it. So all I'm going to do is I want to kind of do a very very simple highlight on each of our face shapes and then we're going to basically add on a little bit of a background and then we're going to call it a day so let's just do this is going to be one extremely cheesy version of it eh, let's you know what let's use some knife tool today i think you guys are if you guys finished if you finish the half tone you guys can totally do the, the knife tool so what we are going to do is under the scissor is our fancy little knife tool. And this is just another way of getting around the Pathfinder. So what I'm looking to do is I'm gonna go nice and big. I just want it to be pretty rounded. And that is it. That's how easy that was. I'm gonna ungroup. And on this side, sometimes you have to deselect. I want this side to be white. Let's do it on this one as well. Knife tool. So notice I have it selected, by the way. And I'm just going on one edge, nice and slow. It's going to try and round it out as best as possible for you. Also, just notice that I'm trying to maintain that same shape. There we go. I have that one selected. Knife tool. I'm going to control Z it so it doesn't give me that wobble. Nice and smooth. Good. I'm going to come in and just color that guy white. Okay. I would definitely save. And all we're going to do is a very, very simple little outside shape just to finish this thing up. So I'm going to duplicate out brushes. I'm going to lock this out just so you can see what we are doing. Now, for the most part, I'm going to just, we're going to simplify our lines. I'm grabbing everything. We're basically just coloring them all the same, so we're looking for just a silhouette. That is really the main concept. 
And then I'm going to unite that bad boy out in place, just so everyone is aware. Let's just color this one air. Let's go gray with it. Now I'm going to come over to our appearance. So look for the little sun over here. I'm going to click on contents. We do not have a stroke. So now I can just start to add on a stroke to our silhouettes. And I'm going to go five. I'm going to click on where it says stroke. And I just want to align stroke to the outside. All right. I'm going to say, let's go two. I'm going to drop this down to pink. It's going to make a second it. Give it a second here. I'm going to go new stroke. Notice there is a one on the bottom. That is the one we're going to want. Now this is the one I want gray. And then now this is going to be the fatty one. All right, good. I'm going to zoom out. I do not want to stroke. We are basically done, guys. Let's draw a big old rectangle. Light pink. Right click it, arrange send it back. And so what we have is a nice little, you'll see that little tiny subtle, it looks transparent. We can obviously get rid of it at a certain point if we want to get fancy, but for the sake of a beginning de demo here, I think you guys have a very, very cool little big sick beginner cat who is not having a good day. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, again, we go nice and slow so you guys can follow along at home or in the classroom. My recommendation is to save away at this point in time. If you are liking the videos, definitely make sure you are subscribing. Make sure you comment. If you have any questions going through it, uh, I do read those. So definitely make sure that you are uh, letting me know if you're having any struggles. If you want to see something on the channel, definitely let me know that as well. I usually try to uh, do most of the tutorials in Illustrator as well as having a cartoon theme. Uh, but other than that, thanks for hanging out. and. Uh, Look forward to seeing you guys on the next video tutorial.